Okay, I fibbed a little earlier. Um, I thought that was my last video a while ago, but I forgot about the wiring that I didn't show you how to connect it. So, um, let me start by first. I took my wiring and kind of looped around the excess wires so that I had everything coming out at the shortest point um, so that my wires were pretty much close to the same length. Then I have a, a piece of the gray corrugated, Cricut corrugated cardboard that I've cut to fit the back. And I've kind of measured where this point is and poked a hole through here. So um, I'm going to take this bottom piece of this tape off and kind of judge. I really can't lean this forward, but I'm going to kind of judge where I want this to be. should fit right along there and attach that piece there. Then I'm going to take these wires and poke them all through this hole. Now the lights are already inside the house. We did that earlier. Oops, missed one. So that now, and then I'm going to remove, hang on to these wires and remove the rest of this tape. And then attach this back. Oh, that one's being stubborn. Just kind of let this fall back in place. And then I'm going to attach these sides. And the top. And that should hold all of my wires in place. And I will come back afterwards, and I, I'm not sure if I'm going to put shingles on here or not. Probably not, because you're not going to see the back. I just didn't want to leave all the wires loose there. And then you want to separate these into two groups of black and red. All your black wires in one side and red wires in the other side. So that you have kind of a group. Okay, so the back has been put on. Sorry, I had to pause the video because my husband came home from work. Oh, and I've separated my wires to black and red. And you have this plug which has the switch on it. And what you're going to do is connect the black wires to the black and the red to the red. But you need to do that using one of these shrink tubes. And all you do... Pull this off, and you only need a piece about that long. So I'm going to cut two pieces of that off. Whoops. And then I'm going to add one to the on the plug wire. I'm going to place one inside there. If I can get the wire inside it. And I'm going to put one on the red, but I'm only going to do one at a time because it'll just fall off if I keep messing with it. So then you get all of your wires together where the silver parts, it's going to be hard to see, but the silver parts are all together. And you're going to twist them. And you want to twist them really good. Not hard enough to break the wires, but twist them as good as you can. because you want a firm connection. Then we're going to take our red one, place the wire inside that tube, and then take all of your red ones and put them all together. 
got one here that's a little bit longer than the rest. You just, again, match up the ends so that all your silver ends are together. And then you're going to twist those. And do this with your hands. Don't use a tool, because if you use a tool, you're going to break wires. And if you break wires, then that light's not going to work, and you're going to have a hard time. Then you'll take back back off again and re-hook it. Now, this is a plug that comes with them. We're going to test these wires before we use the shrink tube to make sure they're working. So I'm going to plug this in, and then this part is going to plug into here. And... I don't know if we're going to be able to tell here with the light on or not. Let me see. Okay, it's on. And I do have light shining through everything, I believe. I don't know if you can see, but you can see a light up there in the top and the rest of it shining through. So I think my connection is good. Well, maybe the bottom one. There's one in here that might not be, there it goes. Yeah, my connection needs to be a little bit better. If you can see, it's kind of wiggling, so looks like it's a pretty good connection. So I'm gonna unplug this. Turn this light back on, get some more light over here. Okay. I'm going to double check all these again. Go ahead and do an extra couple of twists on them. Whoops, didn't mean to hope I didn't get my head in there. Oh, there's what happened. My black ones came undone. So let's twist those in. Should be twisted in there pretty good now. You can kind of wiggle them and see if anything comes loose. If it does, then, then you might want to mess with it again, but that should be good. Together well, and then you can bend this wire back out. Bring your shrink tube up. Make sure all the wiring goes into this tube. And then use your heat gun. You can use a blow dryer or the heat gun. I have a heat gun, so I use it. And just blow it, and you'll see that tube start to shrink. And you want to hold it on there till that gets really shrunk up. But not so long that you melt your wires, so kind of be a little... Careful. Now once it's shrunk, you can kind of, and it'll be hot, so be careful. But that should be good right there. Same thing with the red one. We've got it connected, so I'm going to bend this back out this way. Run the shrink tube up over it. And use the blower on it again. That's it. Oh, ouch. Okay, let me unplug this. All right, now we should have a good connection. I'm going to plug this back in. Looks good. I'm going to turn this light off and this light off. It's turned on. Let's see if I can get it tilted here so you can see. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's hard to tell, but there is light coming through. And onto the sides, you can see. 
you can see lights coming through there. So there you have it. That's how to hook your wires up. And it is best to uh, make sure you use your switch to turn it on and off when you plug and unplug your lights. I've never had anything short out, but it could. And what I'm gonna do is take this and just attach it here to the base. I'll probably tape these wires down so that they don't move a lot as well. And then just tape this down. Or you can just leave all this hanging if you want to plug it in. And there you go. That's how you connect your lights.